Hi guys, I just wanted to give you a quick little explanation <laughs> before you watch the rest of the video. I'm about to um, show you how to make some faux washi tape. Now, I made this faux washi tape back on the 12th of December 2023. And you'll see this in more detail further down <laughs> the video. Um, but today is actually the 26th of February 2024. So you will see me working out of this little tray later on in the video. And you will notice it's really, really full. Um, yeah, that's because it was the 12th of December 2023. And that was just after my air conditioning had broken down in my craft room. And so... I I did two videos making faux washi tape two different ways. So this was the first way, which is the rest of this video. And the second method I will put in my next video. But I just wanted to explain why you'll see this tray really full when now you can see it's uh, gone down a lot. So this is after I've been using it for a while. But yeah, it was actually good to see what it looked like back on the 12th of December, 23. So yeah, I filmed the making of some faux washi tape, but then um, it was just way too hot in my craft room to finish the second part of the video. So I parked it. Um, then my aircon finally got fixed and then there was Christmas and birthdays and time got away. So now... <laughs> It's the 26th of February and I'm finally going to post this video, okay? So, anyway, I have put the hashtag use it till it's gone still on this video because out of this tray last night, I made some faux washi tape strips out of the tray using the same method as you're about to see in the rest of the video. So these were strips out of the tray. They're more colourful. Um, I picked out some little colourful bits. And I also used some scraps that are built up on my desk that were not part of this. So, But in, in the rest of the video, you're going to see me make one that's uh, quite neutral. And it's one long continuous strip. Anyway, I will leave you to watch the rest of the video. So just so you know, what you're about to see was the 12th of December, 2023. Okay, let's get on with it. Hi guys. I was given a bunch of these double-sided tapes by a friend a few years ago. They're still pretty sticky, actually. Um, I never, ever, ever <laughs> use this stuff. Um... This one is, it's like spongy, it's dimensional. Um, yeah, different widths. So what I was thinking, I might turn this double-sided tape into more tape. <laughs> but I might use these dumb little scraps. Now... I'm thinking that originally I was thinking I'll just stick little bits down to one side of the tape, but I wouldn't mind sewing it straight up the middle. And I don't want to sew this tape because it's, I think, I feel like it'll gum up my machine. So what I need is some strips of my scrap paper tape, then sew it and then stick this tape on the back is what I'm thinking. Look, there'll probably be a better way to do it. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is just make one first. And you know when you make something, then you kind of figure out the best way to do it. You know, if I made this again, I would do it this way instead. So um, I'm wondering if I should... I'll glue these little strips to a sheet of paper. But I'm wondering if I should have strips that I glue and the, let the little pieces hang over the edge. So, for example, if I had strips of paper 
and you know we all kind of make those little cluster bits where you know they all and then you have a long strip um so look i may make some of those but another time because i kind of make those all the time anyway so i'm thinking <laughs> so i'm thinking as i go here <laughs> i never have a plan okay maybe instead of those little un uneven sided um cluster kind of strips I'm thinking I wouldn't mind an actual tape that has a nice flat edge like you know it's the same width all all the way around so yes actually okay I can kind of picture that in my head and I think that would look nice then whenever you want to tape I could roll it into I could roll it onto a core and yeah just use it like a tape in journals okay okay I can kind of see it in my head now I'm gonna do that now I'm thinking I will start off with this one because this one's really thin this is a bit wider I might start with this one because I've got more of it and it's yeah it's not too thin, not too wide. And then I'll come up with a way and I'll see if I like it too because I may not even, what I make may not be the picture that's in my head, <laughs> which is actually all the time. So I think since I've decided I'm going to make a, a tape where it's the same width all the way along, I think I'm going to just glue down whole sheets. Okay, let me pick a blank sheet, like this, for example. These encyclopedias, oh gosh, I've just got so many pages. I've been using this particular one forever, and look, I've still got so many pages. So many pages to use. Now, let me grab a few actually. If they've got okay pictures in them, I'll use those. I'll use the pictures. But if they're just, you know, grouchy old man, I don't really want that, do I? I don't want wrestling. She's nice. Maps I'll always use. Oh gosh, I'm dripping. I've, it's so hot here. The air conditioning in my craft room is not working. And I'm waiting on someone to come out and fix it. So it's really hot in my craft room because my craft room is in the garage. So until someone comes and fixes it, I'm going to have to just sweat it out. All right. Yes, yeah, so throughout the day while I've been crafting, I've just been going and uh, jumping in the pool and then coming back out and I've just been basically walking around in a wet t-shirt all day. I hope the neighbours don't see me. They're probably horrified. Okay, so excuse me if I'm making a puddle on my desk. Now... Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'll start with a blank page and I'm going to glue all these dumb little bits down. Okay, this is going to be a bigger job than I'm thinking, isn't it? Okay, just do it. Just do it. Which way should I do it? Okay, now I've got this tub of really dumb little scraps that I'm going to use. When I say dumb scraps, I mean dumb scraps. Look, look at this. What is this? What is this? Who keeps this crap? Look, bits of torn off edges. 
She usually, these strips I've got a separate bag altogether for. Just really dumb little scraps that have been piling and piling. And, I mean, look at that. Okay. You get the idea. So, when I say dumb scraps, I actually mean it. This is not <laughs> including all these dumb little scraps that are on my desk at the moment from making tags the other day. Okay. See, these little guys can go in there. Oh, gosh. Okay. See, never move the scrap pile because you can't get it back to how it was. Um, I'm still undecided the best way to go about this. If I want tape that's even edges. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm gonna have to glue glue stick it, aren't I? We'll see. I'll start and then we'll see what the best way is, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to cover this in dumb little scraps and just make a base to start with. Like the very, very bottom base. Now, because um, I know how exciting this is to watch someone glue little scraps down, I will forward this so you do not have to be tortured for an hour or two.
right. I think the whole page is covered. Might be a little spot in there. Let me just put a little piece there. Whoops. Okay. Is that all covered? Yes. Lots of little pieces. Okay. Now, I've got my little piece covered. It also occurred to me that I could have used... You may have seen a while back I collaged a phone book. Not in one hit, but over the course of a year or something, all my little scraps I was putting in here. Now, I've been using these for um, little notebook covers and tags and all that. I possibly could have used one of the pages out of here, although they're bigger pieces. Um, yeah, maybe not. Although that one would be good green tape, I suppose. And this one I might do. I might make some out of these as well, actually. I'll do that in a separate video. Or I'll just do it separately. See, now I've moved this out of my junk pile and it's not going to go back without me having a crap -a Okay. Yeah, a few people asked me what I did with the phone book. Um, I've done a few projects, but I don't think I've filmed them. I'll have to um, do a few more on camera so you can see. You just use the pages like you would any other... Um, you know, like master board pages, make tags, little notebook covers, journal cards, pockets, all the same sort of stuff that you normally do. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Now. Which tape did I say I was going to use? This one. Okay, so I'm just going to... my tape to be the same width the whole way so I think I will just how wide should I do it how wide is this tape it's only about a centimeter isn't it yep a centimeter so I might do mine two centimetres or one and a half because to peel that and put it down to put strips well, maybe I could put strips before I cut it then I won't have to measure anything okay I have a feeling this is going to be a disaster I oh, know I okay I need I almost ruined it, didn't I? No, I need to cut it before I put the tape down, the double-sided tape down, because I want to sew it. Yes, I definitely want to sew it. Okay. Let's just make this. Just do it. doesn't need to be even. I might just do it two centimetres, hey? Oh gosh, I'm too far away, I can't even see. Alrighty. Okay, I'm just going to use this. Just do it.
Okay, I'm just going to cut this into strips and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've decided to use the paper trimmer instead because it's got that center line that I can cut off. So I'm very, very blind. I can't even see it. These will be uneven for sure. See, I can't see the numbers. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm, I'm very blind. You'll hear me complain about it all the time. Um, it's not something I can wear glasses for. So there's not a lot of measuring or using rulers or things with uh, numbers. Unless I can hold it up to my nose. I can't see it. I'm trying not to get my big head in camera. Ooh, that strip was very uneven because I didn't have it on the line, did I? Okay. Doesn't need to be perfect. Oh, I quite, I quite like these strips. Look how nice they look. I don't know if I should sew them now, <laughs> now that I've cut them. I think they could look quite nice like that. Do I want to sew them? Okay, I think I'll do a few versions. Some sewn, some not sewn. Do I have the patience to sit here and glue another page of little scraps down? I don't know. Actually, I do. <laughs> I'm a quite an impatient person, unless it's something like gluing or sewing little scraps down or something like that. Then, for some reason, I have all the patience in the world. Don't they look so cool? I think they'd look even nicer as a one and a half centimetre strip. I just did two centimetres because I just... Actually, I didn't do two centimetres, did I? That doesn't look like two. Yeah. It's just under because I'm a bit wonky. But, um, yeah, I think they would look even nicer as a one centimetre strips just because, um, you know, a very thin tape. Now, this, of course, goes back into the crap box. Now, if I wanted to make a roll of tape, I would have to make a lot of these pages, but I'm just going to... Um, Do one page for now and then the rest I can do off camera and then I will come back and show you the finished product okay this one I've decided I will sew I'm so undecided on this because I quite like it how it is yeah, I think I will sew. Now I'm just going to tack these together and sew it in one big long zoopa duper strip. Yeah, okay. 
I'll do that. Just do it. Where's my little clippings? Okay, now I'm going to just continue joining these then I will let it dry I'll let the glue just dry for a little just a little bit and then um, I'll give it a sew I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch straight down the center and then I will be back Okay, I have finished gluing the small strips into one long strip and I've sewn it together and I just love it. Look at this. Now it's a lot like the snippet rolls that we all make but even edges. Now now that I've sewn it, I actually think I like it better not sewn. Which is unusual because usually I love everything sewn. But I do love that it still looks and feels like paper. Now you may have little bits come up here and there because I've just glued it down quickly with a cheap glue stick I don't mind that you can glue it as you use it now oh I need to actually turn it into tape don't I so you could probably just leave it like this roll it up and um, as you use it snip it to size and just glue it down but since my whole idea was to use up this stupid tape just going to get rid of the first little bit because I think that little bit might have dried out a bit. Okay, since I want to actually make it into tape, I'm going to tape it. Oh, how am I going to do this? I'm too unco. Okay, I think I need to do it this way. Okay. So, is that the best way? We'll find out. I have a feeling I'm going to make this go all wonky because I can't center it. Oh, I am, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. <laughs> Probably. Oh, see, I really want to use this tape up. But it's so hard for me to run a long strip. I probably need to lay this flat, I think, on, um, on the kitchen table or something. And that way I can kind of stick it down in one long piece because <laughs> it's hard to keep it straight and it um, goes wonky donkey. Okay. You can tell I've never used double-sided tape before, can't you? Have I? I may have. I really wanted this to be stuck down in one long strip. So that whoever uses it can just pull it off. Cut it to size and 
tear it off. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can do it in one strip. I'm going wonky again. Means my tape won't be down the center. Okay, but you get the idea. I will continue gluing this off camera and then I'll roll it up. Um, you get the idea though. Now you've got some tape. You just chop it to size, peel the back off and glue it down wherever you like. will stick better if you don't sew it now I did also think of another way if you don't like you know little pieces coming up like this if you don't want to use glue stick because you don't like little bits popping up what I might do actually I'll do it in another in a separate video I'll do it in the next video I was thinking that I might um, do some on the silicon mat with PVA glue. That way, when I glue it down, it's got a coat of PVA on top as well. That'll stop the little bits um, from coming up. Yes, okay. So let this be experiment number one. And... Um, We'll do experiment number two in the next one. And somebody please tell me how to glue this tape down. I think I'm just going to have to glue it in sections. I don't think I'll be able to do the one big glue. I might just have to, you know, do like 30 centimetre strips or something. I think would be the best way. I love it. It looks so nice. Yep, definitely, definitely prefer it without the uh, stitching. I felt like it needed some stitching just to help keep all those little papers down. But I think if I do some on the silicon mat, I can do much larger sheets than those um, encyclopedia sheets. And so each strip to join together will be longer and it'll hold those little pieces down so I won't need the stitching okay experiment number one completed once I glue this stupid double tape sided tape down what do you all use this tape for anyway I never ever use it I just don't know what you'd use it for other than to make your own <laughs> junk paper tape <laughs> okay I oh, see where the little joints are as well I can see there's a join here because if you don't cut your strips to the same exactly the same width you can kind of notice a little bit jutting out and just snip him off oh i love it i love the feel of it it feels like paper i like that it's all neutrals i like that i can mix in these ugly little magazine page strips that for some reason i have kept Yeah, and just use it as tape in your journals. I think it would be good if you've got like a picture. Do I have a picture here? Okay. Not this picture, but if it were a nice picture, you know, you can cut little strips, like a strip there and a strip there to glue down. Or use it for whatever. This strip is probably, um, what, 
two and a half meters long, maybe a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, maybe two and a half meters long, which is, I'd say it's a little bit more. Yeah, probably over a hundred inches, maybe a hundred and three inches, hundred and four inches, something like that. But anyway, that's our scrappy paper tape, and I'm going to continue using the tub of itty bitty little scraps. I'm going to now, instead of making one of these, I'm going to do. Um, one with the silicon mat but i will film that and show you in the next video video okay that's it thanks for watching bye